So you have flying everywhere, Keith? Uh, travel, aether currents. No, I don't have I don't have Curthus Western Highlands. Oh yeah, because we remember because we uh we found that it requires an instance. Yeah. So I figured we'd do, we do that do together that at some fast, point. Or? Uh, we could. There we go. A little baby fort person instance. We haven't seen one of these forever. So if I if I just started the video here, it's because the context is that this dungeon is required to unlock flying in one of the regions. And then, yep. and it's the only time that happens, I think, in this no, entire no. instance, this expansion. It, oh, in this expansion, I think so. Maybe not, not counting uh, main so. story. I mean, I just I went, I you. just went and got all the flying things unlocked, and this is the only thing that I've left is the one that requires me to do a dungeon. So it's probably true. Oops, I need just, to turn that off. There we go. I just realized I forgot to activate the. Uh, Forgot to activate the buffs. No. Yeah. Let's see. Is there a share? Is there a share? No. There's not a share quest button. Oh, it's not really turn no. off. Did I turn off hologram? No. I do need to turn on iron wheel. There we go. Would be nice, but. Eh. There's always this like brief second window where you have to remember. You're like, what am I doing here? What is <laughs> this class? How do I play video games? Why didn't anyone warn me that I don't know how to play video games? There we go. Well, hello there. I had to change all my audio settings. So I'm like, I can't hear anybody. <laughs> Combat is so loud compared to everything <laughs> else. I was wrong about my guesses of what was safe. It's one of the Mylodons. They're kind of cool. It looks like a Monster Hunter monster. Like he's neat. Like a bat dragon thing. This game sometimes has pretty good character design. Sometimes. Oh yeah, I think I... This poor little Zoblin. My life is hell. Why was I born? <laughs> Better than a snow. Who's I guess life is just to die. It's like a Voltorb where you're like, why do you exist? <laughs> I mean Voltorbs don't die. I mean, if they don't go to <laughs> they, a focus they live, center, they, they do. Li they live to explode more. And again. And again. That's always like, self KOing. That's like the uh self induced the like, concussion attack. <laughs> uh it's like the inverse raccoon. Where uh found out that the like inverse apparently... raccoon yeah i found like raccoons only have like a uh in the wild they only live to be like two to three years old oh um uh, just because yeah. they just die they just die so quickly but in captivity they can live up to 20 years oh my so, god like, so like you just have to actually give a shit about raccoons for them to live. that's a huge disparity oh god but the uh but like Voltorbs yeah, have to be the opposite, where if you don't, if they're not owned by somebody, they just die instantly, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah, oh, so that's not the no opposite. Real... That's the same. Oh yeah, you're right. Sorry, it's the same. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I meant they're just like raccoons. Yeah. Um. Hey, I got a new button. Oh, I can't use it. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, because they just like, they they once they explode once and no one has ownership of them, they just die. That's distressing. I, mean, I have a new Pokemon stabbing button to... and I can't use it. Pokemon tries to pretend like being knocked out doesn't kill you, but... <laughs> in the wild, they then feast. <laughs> yeah, in the wild, something's gonna eat you. I guess technically Volt... I, is Voltorb fleshy? Cold no. steel lever. I don't think so. It's made of metal? I have obtained a cold steel lever. I don't know if it's lever. made out of metal. I think there's a Pokedex entry on what its body is. It's made of stuff, flesh. But I'm not 100% sure. Well, that's what I was asking. Like, is it is it fleshy? Do you, is it like a flesh? Elephant. Or is it... It's like a. Uh, Wait, I can't do that either. How many of my buttons are turned well, even off? Even if it is a giant metal ball, that's kind of weird. Why would it? I mean, it connects electricity, doesn't it? Like, it's probably, it's probably metal. I guess that's true. It's and it also has the color scheme of a magnet. <laughs> oh, you fucking! You have to, I hate this boss. Because he sometimes exact does reason. a little bit I of a I want to go back to my bubble. Leave me alone. 
Let me go back to my ley lines. Stop stun locking me. Ha uh ha. -huh. I've been I've been practicing healing on another game recently, and it's fucking stressful to heal an MMO. Yes. The tanks yep. just start chain pulling everything because they've been playing this game so much they're dead inside, and they they only like I don't know how to speed run instances anymore. And you're like, <laughs> every time I start a cast, they run out of range. Fuck, they're literally dying, and they're gonna blame me. Yeah, but it's healing Story. a while is also just what like... What does the target mean? Of my life. Am I in trouble? Playing as a healer in Final Fantasy IV. But, it, but I do kind of like healing. It can be fun. Uh, I'm in space. Yep, here I go. All right, I'll just, I'm just going to AFK for a while and enjoy, guys. Sounds like a healer mechanic. <laughs> Yeah, I thought I'd try healing more in MMOs because I'm like, wait, I like I like being the support in everything else. Why would it stop? Yeah. Ow, I did not range that in time. That was too greedy. Yeah, this is why it's um if you like healing, but also enjoy the more DPS aspect of healing, uh summoner dollar is a great option. Because they level at the same time. So you are very versatile in the sense of what you can do. What levels at the first time? Well, you start off at level 1. And then at level 30 is when you get your drop quests. I don't think I understood what was being said. He's saying if you want to it's... be a DPS uh, healer, then you can be a scholar. Scholar summoner. Or, uh, yeah. Or more specifically, an arcanist. Get up to the point where you get the... Are we bothering reading these? For... No. Uh, we, I don't know what the context is, but I'm not going to read it. You guys can I, go to the instance. To whoever reads this, if there is anyone left to read it, let it be known that I, Sir Pasclaret Neutral, bore witness to Dalamud's fall, the lesser moon's descent, the black doom with, which emerged from within, the flames which spread up across the horizon, turning night to day. It shall haunt me for the rest of my days. It is the dawn of the seventh umbral era, according to some of the men. I told them to put no stock in the ravings of prophet, the prophetess, but even I do not know what to believe anymore. I need to turn Effie up or something. See if I wasn't help. saying anything. No, I just I could not understand what oh, you were saying. Oh, just in general? Uh, and it was maybe because you were too quiet, but also maybe because I missed one of the details, but you just said something about leveling two specs at the same time, and I'm like, that doesn't make yeah, sense so, to me. What's, what was um, I saying? So Arcanist... Uh, eventually develops into both Summoner and Scholar. And the nice thing about that is that because of the fact that they are both, both have the same base class, they level at the same time. Oh, so it's like Pugilist, but it splits. So that, yes. So like you, you level the first spec, and then you basically get to start both specs at the same time at the, at the level that it splits yes. at. Yep. Okay. It's two separate quest lines, obviously, but yeah, it's, uh, it is all, uh, yeah, that's how I was able to get two level 80s pretty much immediately, because I was I started maining <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> the engineers are still surveying the damage, but anyone with eyes can tell that the dusk vigil is beyond repair. Some walls are hardly fit to be called as such, piles of crumbling masonry as they are. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Some the of them are going to have been pleading. What's that? Heads up. It's fine. You could fight them. I'll keep reading. Ah, oh, fuck. I can't. Nope. You can't use interrupted by reading. I'm gonna read again. I'm trying to click. I actually can't. I'm actually. I'm accidentally clicking you on the book can't. instead of yeah. fighting them. Wait, why are they all after me? I don't know. The officers have been pleading with Sir Yulmerik, asking him to order withdrawal. He knows our position is untenable, yet he refuses. We will hold it to the last, for we are the shields on the wall, defenders of the Holy See, he says. He is a brave, pious man, less so we who serve under him. People keep saying in the chat that they don't get the joke, and I think that might be an inside joke I don't get. People keep saying that, and I don't know what joke they're not getting. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, which, which, what are they saying in chat? They keep saying that they don't get the joke, and I think that them saying they don't get the joke might be an inside joke, because I don't know what joke they're referring to that they didn't, I, would have not gotten. I'm not sure. So I think they're just fucking with me. <laughs> that sounds about right for an audience. That's, yeah.
to put that Let on the macro. Da -da -da Sir Yuhamel, <laughs> Yuhelmerik has taken me into his confidence. He says I am an honest man. I wish I were a braver one. The mutiny has been quelled. Among the starving half-mad knights were, were Sir Yuhelmerik's most trusted officers. He wielded the axe himself. The executioner's axe? Sir Yuhelmerik received me in the chapel afterwards. I told him we will not set, uh, we will not last a fortnight without food. He smiled and told me that the fury has blessed us with a bounty of fresh meat. Then returned to his prayers. I joined him. The meat was the people. They're gonna eat the people. The really edgy story. I thought that said Lord Commander Scat. Wow. It's not too that far, kind of game, Keith. It is too far away and too low res, and it, that, he was, that he was hard to read. <laughs> I was like, excuse me? Didn't you know? Uh, the Lord Commander just shits all over the floor over <laughs> the here. The scat is made of people. They ate their own people. Oh, I don't really like that at all. They, I mean, that's what they did. They ate their people. Well, everyone eats their own people. I'm saying I don't <laughs> like the fact that the... I don't like the fact that people are eating the poop of their own people. I didn't say that. Well, you said the poop was people. Yeah. I so didn't say anyone eating... was eating poop. They be they became. I don't think you understand the order of operations for the body <laughs> and digestion. I thought you were saying that they. I thought you were saying that they were just poop, and so they were eating each <laughs> no, other. No, they weren't eating like, people that were poop. There's this yeah, thing that that's... happens after you eat things. Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Lord Commander's key. Oh Lord, Commander's keys. We gotta Are, clear the barracks. You, you gonna come and read this one? I didn't see it yet. I was looking around for other things that Are we might have missed. Fucking read it. What's wrong with you, guys? You can't read. Oh, hello, play, play. Pray, forgive your humble servant. For too long have I f let fear rule my heart, and in my cowardice have I been party to unspeakable acts. I know now I shall never see my children again. Nor would I want them to look upon their father's face and what it has become. I am outside her grace. I'm sorry for you. Until the cannibalism that. happens, at which point I'll be inside. I'll be inside her grace. <laughs> oh. Hey, it's Sir Yolmrick, the cannibal. <laughs> I wonder if he ate these people on the ground. All right, gonna, Sir Yuhu, Let's see what you got. They're, they're definitely gonna get up and join the fight. I've played well. a video game before. You can't trick me. In which in which case it didn't happen, then it'd be like, wow, it's subversion. Also, I predicted that too. <laughs> I like the idea that there's nothing he could do. Alright, start fighting. Stop being alive, Frozen Knight. They're frozen in the refrigerator so they could be cannibalized later. <laughs> uh, is this circle bad? That circle seems like it might be bad. No. It, uh, well, the outside circle's bad. Yeah, because yeah. I, I, I was about to run out to fight the ads, and I'm like, uh, it's all red out here. That seems like it's bad for me. Oh god. <sighs> I made it, I think. Maybe not. You can bring closer to me if you uh if you want, I can I don't think they care about where I'm located. That's true. They just stand still and annoy me. It's unnecessary amount of uh The down ow. the downside of ch of changing specs is that I made it I got a thumbnail art. Oh that's a specific that has a specific weapon in it. Just heal me, I'm gonna stay in it. <laughs> that, was, that was not the finisher I thought it was aren't gonna you, be. Aren't you a healer? Don't you know how bad that is? Yeah, it's, you, I mean, should, the, you the of all people the, should the know you over. don't sand in the dumb. Come on now. If, yeah, but the fight's over, it's fine. I thought I was finishing him, but actually it wasn't very strong. <laughs> Should've limit breaked. Yeah, could've. Eh, probably not worth it. We only get one, what does it matter? I mean, yeah, technically yeah, I, we get I, two at the final boss. If I did change spec, there's the question of like, do I use the sword thumbnail still, or do I then switch to like screenshot thumbnails again until I can get a new thumbnail made? 
No, no, just stay with the stay with the sword thumbnail. I don't think anyone's gonna like police your thumbnails. <laughs> no one's gonna show up and be like, excuse me, sir, I was uh, only watching because I assumed you were a samurai. Oh, people are never n never underestimate the ability of the internet to be pedantic. Well, sure, they'll be pedantic, but I'm saying like the I'll, general, I'll, like, like, like I'll name every audience. episode of uh, <laughs> I name every every whenever I get into a new chapter in Yakuza because the stories are divided into chapters. I name I make I make the title of that video like Yakuza part whatever chapter whatever colon the name of the chapter to like sort of de delineate the progress. But sometimes the chapter starts in the last ten minutes of an hour long episode, and people are like, um actually this shouldn't be called this because it only starts at the, the chapter only starts at the end of the episode. It's like what am I start to call the next one that? Then people are going to look for that chapter, start the next video, and be like this isn't the beginning of the chapter. We can't win. Can't Just win. do two slash three, or whatever. No, that's that. No, nah, I only call it the the chapter when the chapter starts. I don't call it every episode. I'm gonna die. So it would be, be weird to suddenly bring up the chapter that's ending in the all of a sudden. You know what? That's fair. Actually, also, uh, also don't die, Andrew. We're vamping. You can't die while we're not paying attention to you. True. The uh, I I was in I was in. The, a bookstore, a physical bookstore, the other day. Wow. And yeah, they still exist for some reason. I thought I'm Amazon. I'm here to did. smell your paper. Yeah, I thought Amazon <laughs> like killed them. So I feel kind of bad because Amazon's like a failure of a company. But I mean, um, they tried to. Yeah. They tried so, very hard. One of the books I saw there in the self help section for technology because that's the best place to go. Find, oh no! Uh, I don't like really that book, diagram. So. Um is uh there's a self-help section for how to be a successful youtuber <laughs> uh, no and it's great <laughs> it's, please it. tell me it's an <laughs> uh, it's an idiot's guide to youtubing please. no it's a uh it's it's just a clearly written by a guy i think who's uh prob probably i i mean i can't what's I can't the name say of the youtuber certain. do you remember I don't know who the YouTuber or the, is. The I just I, I skimmed through it, but the person looks like somebody I would expect to do like uh, really controversial content on YouTube. Oh um, no, it's that but, kind of guide. Okay. Uh, but yeah, like it, it shows you from like how to make thumbnails, how to make titles, how to like game the algorithm, and all this fun stuff. And I'm looking it's at it. And written, going, written by Matt Pat. And, and, and I'm looking lies. at like, and uh, and going, man, this is gonna be completely useless information like next week, like just the, yeah. the nature of how this platform works is like you can't yeah. you can't buy a book. They, they, I mean, they also had a book for like Twitch for Dummies, and so I opened that up, and the interface in it was wrong. Everything about it was wrong. Like they already changed it, the interface like, in the time that they wrote that book, and I'm like. Okay. Was it like Justin TV levels of outdated, or was it like? Nope. Just it, the book was written like two years ago, and that's it. So it's two years old. It's too. It's too old now. You have yeah. to write. A, you have to write a new book every year because Twitch changes its interface every six months. So mm -hmm. like, it's it's baffling. There there are points like there are some things that are valuable information. Like, like the thumbnails you... would absolutely be viable for as long as thumbnails exist but no because Oops. thumbnail because what the algorithm wants from thumbnails changes so oh, that yeah i guess so you're right. again it's all based on the year uh and the month and the date and like the weather and how many politicians ate children that year like no one knows how the algorithm works it just doesn't work the way that people say it works whenever someone says that's how it works oh the and <laughs> it's the arena sealed gosh. off during the cutscene. <laughs> It's a little rude. Oh. Was tech, there was technically yeah. a teleport prompt, but yeah. The, uh, but yeah, so it's... It, it, anyways, it was really funny to... Oh, God. Get behind a rock. Oh. Oh, I can't move. Or not. Fine. I can't move. Yeah, we fucked that up. This is gonna hurt. Whee! Whee! It's the whirly gig. That's That got me through the, the Bloodborne DLC. Yeah, that specifically, you just gotta run from it. I appreciate you, one person in the audience that realized before I'm saying it now that that laugh earlier was steady as she goes by the raconteurs. I can hear your comment typing now. 
It's but just it's, such a stupid moment. <laughs> it's it's funny. There's like there there are things that you can. That's exploding. I, like, I see who the target demographic of those books are, which are yeah, like young idiots. You know, yeah, well, <laughs> gullible people meant, being manipulated I, into wanting to do the hobby that everyone wants to do, I guess. But you I know, meant more like to young children that don't it's, know any better. Uh, but, the entire uh, user base of r slash let's play. Oh, I'm so I'm still supposed to hide, huh? Well, you were. You yet. have to, but. Uh, but so, but it's really funny to like. There are th there are fundamentals that are genuinely good information to know. Like, oh, this is how you balance audio, or this is like what you should export yeah. stuff at. But um, it's funny to see general stuff in there that you don't need, like how to upload a video, and it's like click the button that says upload. Like I'm, I'm just just spitballing <laughs> here. That might be the best way to do you it. You might have been in trouble uh, if you needed that one. Yeah. And it's like, and I get it. I don't know. Maybe it's for like grandmas. It's for like really old people to get into YouTube or something. But um, it was just funny to see a book like that where it's like, wow, I'm I'm so old. Uh, I I can't believe that they're making books for people on how to use this thing that I, I just inherently know how to use because I've used it for so long. Uh, but I I'm curious to see. I, I didn't see a book on TikTok yet, so I'm waiting for that to come out. Uh, so that way I can go buy it and then become a, a famous talk ticker. Is that what they call themselves? I'm the talk. I don't know what they, I'm the talk who ticks. I don't know what like what they what do they what do you call an influencer on TikTok? Probably a talker, I would imagine. Yeah, ticker sounds really dangerous. I don't think you should yeah. call people tickers. Um, seems like a risky game you're playing. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, you're like, you're one syllable off from a gamer word. Um, so you should be like, I don't know, like, what, what it, TTs? You call them TTs? Yeah, wrong what? person says that, somebody gets banned, probably not what a good idea. The, what, what do you, okay, now I need to know, what is it, what do you call a viral TikToker? Not, I didn't mean to open up <laughs> Linux. Um... A child, probably just a TikToker. What is I guess. A I don't viral know. TikToker. Hit t hit TikTok sensation Hank Green. What is TikTok? Is it safe? Well, that's a silly question. NBC. No, it's not. But of course not. What what do you call a famous TikToker? Ticker talker? No, that's not right. <laughs> Ticker uh, talker. I just, ta I mean, just soldier spy. <laughs> <laughs> and now Keith is busy dancing with yeah. uh, other people. <laughs> <laughs> what is the shortest distance to freezing amount that technically still saves money? <laughs> Let's see. Were I to find myself in an unfamiliar wilderness, my first instinct would be to seek out signs of civilization. Ordinarily, perhaps, but in his wounded state, he may not have wished to risk contact with strangers of unknown allegiance. Yet had Thancred chosen to remain in the forest, the hunters would surely have stumbled across his trail. Thancred's gonna be- no, don't bring Thancred back. It was, the best thing they did was kill off the entire cast of the first <laughs> game. <laughs> uh, also, I'm gonna voice all three of these. Fuck, I'm, I'm Andrew now. <laughs> yep. Shit, who was Kryle? Was I also Kryle? Yep. Was I, I really? So. I, it was either you or Andrew. Fuck, what the fuck did she sound like? I... Well, Tail feather girl. doesn't strike me as an isolated outpost, though. Don't get Tatra in the same room, or we're gonna get really confused about <laughs> how they sound. Different. Merchants and traders pass through reasonably regularly, do they not? In which case, we'll need to provide a more detailed description when we just, uh, question the locals. Fear not, Kryle. I have already prepared several sketches of Thancred for that very purpose. Wh why? I. He looks these like these are from Tidus. my private collection. <laughs> Don't tell him I sketched these. He didn't know I was in the bathroom at that time. <laughs> this... This is impressive. You drew him from memory? I know his every curve. <laughs> <laughs> casually painting him like one of his French girls. Paint me like one of your... <laughs> Wait, what would you call that? <laughs> I just turned slightly left with the camera. Um, it's just what panda would you call posing me? behind her. What, Paint me uh... like one of your Lamia girls? I mean, yeah, that, that would work. Like one of what your is Lamians. Lamians. <laughs> <laughs> what is what is France in this world? 
Uh, uh, Ishtol, uh, Ishgard is very French. Probably, Ishgard? yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, you've got Kurtis. stuff like. Um, I mean, their names are like incurably French, aren't are they? Very much. Yeah, they say that French-like. A skill I acquired some years ago for reasons I no longer remember. <laughs> what? What? what the fuck is that? That's an anti-description. That's an anti-explanation. Anti like, you unexplained. I feel like it's that. a way, that's a way to like quickly hand wave away that you tried to be like a manga artist and failed. It also really fucks like, with me. It really fucks with me that his tie is it blends in with his undershirt and look, is shaped like the opening for his undershirt. Yeah, yeah, that he's got a, a, a tie, and tie that's the exact same color. On I'm never going to be able to unsee that now. Thank you. You're, it's, it's, it's what he's wearing. It's his clothes. I've never paid attention to what he's wearing. I'll never be able to unsee the literal clothes he's wearing. I mean, that's a skill that you probably <laughs> forgotten you had long ago. <laughs> <laughs> My, my motivations are complex. <laughs> I mean, ninety percent of the time, I just don't care what they're wearing. I propose we split into two pairs. Ishtola and I will, will inquire at the outlying encampments, while Zev and Kryl question what residents, uh, the residents of Tailfeather. Afterwards, we shall regroup near Lost Athvat uh, and share our findings. I've been doing that entire covenant. I still can't pronounce that reliably. Assuming there are no objections, let us be about it. Maybe it's because it's bug people, so they made a thing that's really hard to pronounce if you're a person, like Cthulhu words. Like Cthulhu. My, he certainly has matured, hasn't he? Hard to imagine he was once a boy who practiced drawing for hours to impress young ladies. Oh! oh, okay. oh. So, yeah, it's a It literally is <laughs> greatly like one of your French girls. Anyway, we had best get started. Find me when you're finished making your rounds. I love it. I love that he's uh, a literal child. Um, if they're bringing back to... Alphano, or uh, not Alphano, if they're bringing back, fuck, what? I already forgot his name. Who are we finding? Thancred. <laughs> Thank. If they're bringing back Thancred, you just know him in Philly is coming up then. Oh, oh, she's yeah. so boring. See, another one of the benefits oh, I didn't even of see that one because now... it's covered in stuff skipped through the entire story. I know which NPCs to avoid voicing now. <laughs> <laughs> Searching for a friend of yours. Let's have a look then. Uh, Here, have what this he looks like. French girl sketch. Why yeah. is he naked? <laughs> what a ponderous bulge. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. No, ain't seen him around. Sorry. Okay. We all know he's just too busy staring <laughs> to even pay attention to the face. What is this pose? It's time to meet the dude with the cool sleeves and shit again. Yeah, Marchamp. Who is Marchamp? He shows up I, a lot in the in the local covenant. I maybe I he was know. me. I go ahead, do it. <laughs> I dare you. What's that you've got there? A sketch. Hmm. Hmm. Can't say I know the face. You say he's something of a warrior? Hmm. I heard a tale the other day about a Huron vagabond who brought down a bander snatch by himself, and with style. Way they tell it, he was dancing with the beast like it was the a bell of the bleeding ball. Sounds like your man. Uh sure? Sure. That's that's definitely Thancrit, right? Also, hello, Danger Noodle. How are you? It's been so long since I've actually been able to take you out. A Huron man. We're not exactly a rare, you know. Could be more specific. He looks like Here, an anime protagonist. Oh, an anime! <laughs> I did spy this one bloke a while back. Didn't get a good look at his face, but it could have been him. That was beyond the forest, as I recall, along the river to the west of Tailfeather. I remember thinking he wasn't much of a hunter. The lad was making no effort to cover his, his tracks, see? That and he was carrying an axe instead of a bow. I'm just gonna chase after myself. So what you're saying is you only saw him from the back, and you're <laughs> basing that judgment on that. Got it. Yeah. He had an anime-ish figure. <laughs> Finished? In that case, I think we're, we've learned everything we can here. Let's see what the others have found out. 
course, if it was the real voice actor, let's see what the others have found out. I can do a British accent. Is that, is that your British accent? I don't know. I, the... As far as as far as I'm aware, you have to like oh, way off legally. In, in place. You have to legally start all British sentences with "oi." Oi. Oi! Now, never heard of him. Where is? Oh, down here on the ground. Why? <laughs> Why isn't he floating in the sky? Waiting like a plebeian. <clears throat> My apologies for our late arrival. We thought it wise to question as many hunters as we could. Many have made camp in inaccessible locations, ideal for hunting game, not so receiving visitors. Nevertheless, our time proved well spent. There has been countless sightings of an exceptionally capable Huron hunter with whom no one is familiar. Though none chance to see the man's face, his height and build match Thancra's description, as does his fighting prowess. So you have heard the same tales. Be that as it may, we may yet want for conclusive proof. Mayhap this is unrelated, but I heard curious tale regarding a vast traitor. He came to Tailfeather in search of garments fit for a man of refinement, which seems a rather curious description for one of his kind. Are you can tell me he's been hiding in the covenant that I've been hanging out with for the last three weeks? Probably. You are implying that Thancred sent a vath to market in his stead. Why would he not go himself? Dude, I've been uh, so entwined in their narrative and important to them that I would have found him if he was there. <laughs> well, if you recall, you yourself emerged from the live stream as naked as your name day. It is a scene I shall never forget. Whoa! Oh my god! Whoa. Wow! wow. Is oh, it that now? Is that, is that how you pick up girls? Ah, uh, that's not smooth well, at all. Well, I, I was pleased to see you, I mean. It was a simple statement of fact. It stands to reason that Thancred found himself in the same predicament. Balls out. <laughs> <laughs> at least he had a at least he had a okay recovery, I guess. So oh, maybe balls. the sketch so maybe the sketch is accurate. Maybe most people <laughs> did see him naked. In any case, if we had dealings with the Vath, they should be able to tell us, no? Aren't Vath the bugs? Yeah. Oh, that must have terrified him. They're the local beast tribe people. They're specifically the ones that broke from the one mind, so they're not in the hive mind anymore. They're individuals, mm -hmm. and you lead one of them on a little quest to become an adventurer over the course of and a lot like of daily the quests. Entire, yeah, their side you imagine, are quite frustrating, though. Could you imagine just you're living your day to man. you're living your day to day life, and you just you suddenly like a naked guy just shows up randomly, mm -hmm. but he's not your same species. So like, your first instinct is like, is this how they always are? Are they always <laughs> just naked? Like, is this and normal? The moment you bump into another one of them, it's like, why are you not naked? Yeah, aren't you aren't you wearing a lot of clothes for a human? That seems, it's like, yeah, what? That's <laughs> insulting, isn't it? Is, is it this not human has like, feathers. <laughs> oh no. Quite right, Grail. Quite right. Bop bop. Oh yeah, damn, Alphano trying to go for your stola. I think he's just an awkward child who doesn't know how to use words yet. How old is Alphano, actually? <laughs> yeah, we had this. We've had annoying yeah. conversations about this. I think, right? Uh, something like that. Uh, to Google. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? For all we know, Thancor could be waiting for us in Lost Ath Vath, the, another character you voiced. You're gonna be voicing five characters. Fuck you. <laughs> we must go and see the Vath right away. Come along, everyone. Come along. Alphano is 16. Wow, much better. 
Well, the game's right, been out for years, so that means when it first came out, he was seven. <laughs> so we're playing, we're currently playing with nine-year-old Alpha now. <laughs> Boom, nice. math. Hey, look, another character I voice, but in my private videos. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know, you be old man. Bug. This is the old one. You want me to be the bug? I don't know. Anyone else? I'm playing. Okay. I'm, I'm playing like six characters. I, I, I mean, I could do this because we're gonna come back here a few times. I don't want to overwhelm you guys too much. Go for it. Great hunters, we welcome you once more to Loth Astvath. What do you seek this day? We seek a man, a man with whom we are told you may have had certain dealings with nudity. I see your tribe also wears clothes. This man did not. <laughs> How curious. The hunters tire of godly sport and pursue mortal prey. No, no, he's not prey, but a friend long missing. I I can't. The clicking sounds just won't pick up on the mic. Thank you. <laughs> good, yes. good. He is a friend to the Vath as well. One with whom we have traded many times. Truly. And you are quite certain it was this, this man. There is no doubt. <laughs> the fleshling clothed in skins came to us from some all lost and weak. He offered meat and hides in trade. And in exchange, we tended his wounds. He brought us much flesh, so skilled a hunter he was. Much flesh. When he asked for garments, we were glad to provide them. Wait, he had to go hunting naked? <laughs> and apparently with no weapon. To hunt, oh my god. To hunt the most dangerous game. Man, for his clothes. <laughs> that actually sounds like a pretty terrifying serial killer. <laughs> just like you're just living your life, and a naked, unarmed guy in the bushes shows up and tries to kill you, and you're like, "What? What? What? What is going on?" Yeah. <laughs> the first uh, Outlast game had the naked twins that would chase you around. Yeah, but they were like incompetently bad at their job. <laughs> they would, I think they would always walk, but they would split up to surround you. That's and where is he now? And to Lot asked Nath, not long ago, when he heard the One Mind had summoned our god once more. Ravana has returned. Vidofnir did say the Nath had grown as before. But what would, uh, what what could Thancred hope to accomplish by himself? Honored Elder, we thank you for your help. Would that he could repay his kindness ere we depart, but we must hasten our com to our comrade's side. Oh, great hunters, lest the Nath claim him as a sacrifice. <laughs> they work so well. You almost need like a one of those things you twist that keeps clicking when you're cranking it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, like the sound of a of, like, a of a disposable camera. <laughs> I like I can try and get my mic to pick it up, but just make nasty sounds with your mouth. Like no, I imagine that's what they no. sound like when they're talking. <laughs> yeah. I hate it. Brum, 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 wow, this is pretty deep. He lives here. Point three here, like ah, yes, yeah, stranger we've never met before that has our max, our high rev reputation mount already. <laughs> Badoop. Ah, yes, yeah, stranger. Here come the foes. Oh man, I really have been playing way too. Oops. Come on. 
being a pain in the ass again. One second. Your mouse? Yeah. Occasionally it likes to flip off of the profile for Final Fantasy fourteen, so my side buttons stop functioning properly. Oh. Ah. Uh, yeah. I don't use profiles, I don't think. Yeah, no. Mm. That sounds about you. Yeah. Yeah, it's just that... Um, I mean, I mapped the games. Fancred, we must hurry. It's the guy from the poster. Wait a second, is this a group of adventurers? Wait. <laughs> it's the shot of the dead scene where the two groups walk past each other. This day, we reclaim the reins of history. This day, we rid ourselves of the Asians forever. Fools playing at heroes, all of you. Is this how you believe you can save your world? We can and we will, Asian. You shall see. Or perhaps you will not! So you are the warrior of light, the savior of Eorzea. It's a wonder you didn't come sooner, what with the primal and all. Lost a step, have we? Have care. The ether moves strangely around him. It would seem we share a common enemy. May Happy would tell us who you are. Shall we show them? That's probably Tancred. Punish Tancred. What? He's, he's near. Tancred is near now. <laughs> Apparently. He genuinely went from young near to old near. <laughs> Thank you. 
Not very sporting of you to interrupt. But so be it. Mark well our faces, warrior of light. For we are the warriors of darkness. Walkers of a different path. And we shall meet again. Our entire wow. party has a Vegeta. How edgy. Warriors of darkness. Really? <laughs> You're making the Lalafell pay for your teleports? It's fucking rude. <laughs> Kryle is unimpressed. It's just weird seeing NPCs teleport in general. I didn't know it was canon. Thancred, are you all right? Pleasantries can wait. I'd rather not be here when the Nath arrive. Agreed? It does- this does feel a lot like when you- you see whiny uh, Raiden in Metal Gear Solid 2, and then in 4, he's like a cyborg. Suffice it to say, our reunion was not at all as I pictured it. Waiting until the last instant to join the fray. Tis plain you have not lost your appetite for the dramatic. My appetite for the dramatic? Have you forgotten the circumstances of our party? The heroic last stand, the tunnel filling with light, and then... Oh. Had I known you intended to use forbidden magics to deliver me to some god's forsaken wilderness, I would have thanked you in advance. Thancred. If nothing else, you might have warned me that I would emerge from the live stream in the altogether. Eventually, I managed to fashion knives from some obsidian I found, and set about hunting for meat and hides. Given that I am not all that skilled in leatherworking, it's probably for the best that I met the Vath before I was reunited with you. So you were the fleshling clothed in skins of whom the storyteller spoke. A description which fit me as ill as the skins themselves. Happily, I was able to trade with the Vath for garments better becoming a man of refinement. From them, I learned of Ravana and of the great warrior who had once laid him low. And thence did you conclude that were you to track the Primal's movements, it would surely bring you into contact with the Scions once more? It seemed a reasonable assumption. I could think of no one else with your enthusiasm for slaying beastmen gods. Until now, that is. Ah, yes. The self-proclaimed Warriors of Darkness. Tis only fitting that they stand in opposition to the Warrior of Light, I suppose. I glimpsed the leaders past, if only for a moment. They were confronting a man in black. An Asian, I think. If these warriors are capable of doing battle with Asians and Primals both, they must be possessed of powerful protection. Protection not unlike the Echo. Am I insane, or is his plan really bad? Thancred plan? wanted to track primals alone in order to find us again, as if society doesn't exist. Yeah, it does seem kind of 
odd that he wouldn't just be like, hey, uh, I'm just gonna make my way back to, I don't know, like, Limsa or something. Yeah, I mean, I get it that apparently he teleported directly to Corthus, because that's where we are, and where the Vath are. But, like, Mar Marshamp, or whatever his name was, is his camp's right over there. And, yeah. like, a larger society exists. Like, he could probably figure out, oh, I'm in I'm in Corthus, if I go to Ishgard, I can probably send a message to, like, any of the leaders from the actual kingdoms, or just anyone that could get me in t contact with the Scions, mm -hmm. who... like. Like, this I couldn't have it. been the best approach. I get it at first. It's like, yeah, no, uh, I have no equipment and I'm completely naked. Probably best to avoid people until I can get something to wear. Does he not have our phone number? That's still goofy. Uh, I guess the Link Pearl is a physical item and not magic? No. You know? well, people, have, people have Link Pearled us from, like, way distance, like, from pretty good distances. Yes, so, like, but I... I more mean, like, specifically that the Link Pearl is an actual thing, not, like, some spell that you cast to contact someone else. But isn't it just a sound and then we hold our ear? I, <laughs> I expected the explanation for why the, the Scions have been gone, that they're reintroducing, to be more sensical. Weirdly, the one that was gone for the shortest amount of time had the most concrete explanation for why she d hadn't reached out in the meantime, which is she was trapped she in was a different stuck dimension, in the yeah. and we had to save her. But Alpha, uh, Thancred's just here, and he's just not very smart. <laughs> what's I mean, what's, what's going to be everyone else's excuses? Out. Like Riku, whatever, whatever Riku's like, name was. I feel like they probably are going to be... Or Minfilia. Yeah... Um, maybe, maybe someone's in prison somewhere. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Thancred was what just you, hanging out with the Vath. Prison. People that I've been hanging out with every day for the last few weeks. I'm losing my mind a little bit. Like with the other two, because they were holding off everybody else outside of the royal chambers. I, I feel like they probably are just on the run, which makes sense. But the, the period in which of time in which they had to be on the run was so brief and is so long ago. Yeah. They just don't know it happened. They're like they're like when you find like some like World War II vet in a bunker somewhere that's been living there for fifty years. <laughs> is the war over yet? <laughs> Could you imagine thinking the war went would go on that long? Yeah. I mean, like there was there was that that's a real instance that happened. But like, could you imagine after like after like 20 years, you're like, man, we really suck. We cannot win this fight. <laughs> like, you well, just kind be, of <laughs> it'd be I mean, it probably felt pretty apocalyptic at the time. So it could have even felt like a forever war. But you, yeah. at some point you'd be like, nothing's really happening. <laughs> when yeah, gonna, like no, it's when's something going to yeah. happen. You're I, like, no man, no one's. Gold. No one's shown up to kill me, or no one's shown up to tell me it's to a all person good. for seventy years. <laughs> Blessed but with then... the power of the Echo, and driven yeah. to put down Primals, despite his declaration that they would walk a different path, I struggle to see how their goals conflict with ours. Nor is that the only oddity. I find it passing strange that such exceptional individuals w should have wholly escaped our notice until now. Surely we would have heard rumors and attempted to recruit them to our cause. I recall no such adventurers, and I would not soon forget their like, nor would any of us, I think. Maybe they're the evil dimension version of me that has a mustache and also is a human. <laughs> uh, one of uh. our primary duties was to scour the city-states for promising candidates, which is how Thancred found Zev. Ah, the memories. It seems like only yesterday you slew your first primal. Speaking of which, I had distinct impression it, it, it was not the first time that band of merry men and women had killed a god. I labor to believe that a band of preternaturally gifted adventurers has been traveling the land slaying primals without our knowledge. It would imply gross negligence on our part. Speculation will avail us, uh, will avail us not. There is far too much we n we do not know. For the present, we must needs concentrate on what we do know. Namely, namely that Lord Ravana is no more. Vidofnir must be informed. The news may render her more receptive to Sir Emmerich's invitation. 
Since you seem to have affairs here as uh, well in hand, I shall take my leave. Simply being in the vicinity of this colony is giving me a sinking headache. If you have need of me, I shall be with Master Matoya. I would beg her assistance in the, with the search for Menphilia. You can go and you can take your time on that one. Wait, Menphilia is missing. I thought she escaped with Zev. I shall explain on the road. Much has happened in your absence. Okay, one of them's gone. <laughs> <laughs> but for how long? At what cost? You're laughing now until Minfilia comes back. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, memory serve. There's another entrance somewhere it's on the It's on the back building? door where the ramp meets the tower. I've been here too much lately. Hello, Vidovnir. Oh, it's not up here. LOL. I think this was me. Uh, I'm trying to remember what kind of voice I gave this person. I don't remember. Whatever. The dragon. I had not thought to see thee again so soon, mortal. If thou seekest the night, know that she hath long since departed for Ishgard. My thanks, Vidofnir. But it was not for her that we came. We bring good tidings for you and yours. Lord Ravana, who had been summoned by the Nath, has been again laid low. Daffy. Truly, once more you mortals have succeeded where mine own kind did fall. You have our deepest thanks. Would that we could take credit. The god fell by another's hand. Another. Revelation upon revelation. Regardless, it is cause for celebration. The Nath will have no choice but to withdraw. But to another matter. I have tidings for thee as well. Regarding the Ashgardian's invitation. As promised, I brought the matter to my sire. Hearken to his answer now. For a thousand years, I have mourned my beloved who gave her life to forge a peace thy king betrayed. Such was my lot, until a child of Ishgard came unto me. For want of warmth, she wrapped herself in a dream. Yet the world will remember her deeds. For truth, she fought. For justice, she sinned. For redemption, she sacrificed and became as light. To follow one's heart, to have faith in one's convictions, be it for weal or be it for woe, such is the folly and the glory of man and of dragon. He hath entrusted the choice to us, and we have made it. We will keep faith with you who walk in the light. Then you accept Sir Amic's invitation. Let it be known that I, Vidofnir, shall journey unto Ishgard on behalf of my people. We are honored to receive your answer and will convey your words to our allies without delay.
It is happening, Isale. Would that you were here to see it. Why isn't she? She's dead, remember? Is she? She sacrificed her soul to become... What's her face once again? In the moment of need. Oh, Ice Queen. Oh, she's the... Oh! Yeah. Even as the Scion celebrated the return of a long-lost friend, honorable men plotted to deprive them of another. I thought he was talking about his sister. Honorable men, to whom Sir Emmerich was no hero but a scheming patricide. Oh, cool. Got rid of a character I play. <laughs> Honorable men who would fain wash the pain Isn't it stones of like a really slow and painful blood. death to die out via a stab to the gut? That armor ain't uh, shit. I mean, yeah, yeah it depends, depends on if you have, like, uh, no ambulance in your country, sure. That is decorative armor. <laughs> Yeah, not only that, but also, I guess, we have to consider the fact that Elzin may have slightly different anatomy than a human. Yeah, maybe he only stabbed him in the spleen or something. My spleen! Ah, oh, my was... squiggly spooch. I was just about to say that. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, humans don't have a squiggly spooch. He's an elf. Look at this guy's fucking costume. Who? What are you talking about? This dragon about? guy with the overalls. That's what? some pop and color. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's got I his plaid shirt or plaid pants. For a second pants. there, I thought his pants were gold. <laughs> like, reflective. <laughs> which would be so much. <laughs> I mean, you've obviously seen or not seen uh, Andrew's other character. And they're flashy gold snipes. No, I saw that character years before I started playing this game. It's the best, it's the best outfit ever. Oh, right, I need to go to talk to the person. Yep. Yeah. Right, let us not keep Sir A. McCrating. Are you quite well, Thancred? Yes, uh, yes, quite well. Forgive me. You have given me rather a lot to digest. This whole affair with the Ishgardians and the Dravanians and our friends nowhere to be found. Twould seem there is no end to our troubles. We can but face them head on, one at a time. For now, we must apply ourselves to, to our allotted tasks and leave the others to theirs. Remember, Thancred, we found you, and as they found me. In time, we might find Ida in Papalimo and Minfilia as well. These troubles will soon be but a memory, one which we, we will look back on together. And we'll find Ida first, because that's who I voiced, and fuck me. <laughs> mm. Pray do not misunderstand. I did not mean to imply that it would be otherwise. I merely wished that I had rejoined our grand adventure once at one of its more triumphal, uh, triumphal moments. Despite your recent accomplishments, the mood here is less than celebratory. But I have no doubt that we will enjoy many more glorious victories soon enough, and you may rest assured that I will play my part in them to the very hilt. Play to the hilt? What? I know you will. So then, to the congregation, where we'll meet our stabbed friend. Panda put his winter coat on. <laughs> well, it is cold here. You can't just be naked all day. Did I fucking <laughs> challenge accepted? Show up to the congregation in underwear. That seems rude. Would you visit a friend <laughs> in the hospital naked? <laughs> Sounds difficult. Yeah, I... I don't know. I actually don't know what the trials and tribulations of being a nudist are. <laughs> I, that... Yeah. I mean, that's certainly something. Uh, like I'd, give me yeah. one second here. I don't know how many places just say, like, no thank you, sorry. I guess I, I guess the no shoes, no shirt, no service thing is pretty... But they don't say no pants. So I guess that's their fault. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that is a good point. 
What? Why? Why no shirt? Mm -hmm. What a weird, what a weird part to, to land on. Why wouldn't it just be like, no shoes, no clothes, no service? I guess you can't, but that'd be like. All right, I'm here. We just really like to police people in this country. Well, I guess you're you're winning against nudists because they're like full nudists. They're not half nudists, so they do have to not have a shirt on, presumably. So you've are you do get them to not. Uh, be allowed. Okay, so I guess there is a victory there. Who was Lucia? Uh, I don't know. I I got. I guess I can do it. Let's see. Uh, sorry. Let me. Okay. You have returned. In, uh, in this, at least, the fates are kind. Greetings, First Commander. It pleases me to inform you that Vidofnir has accepted Sir Amric's invitation. She has? These are glad tidings indeed. Would that the Lord Commander were here to hear them. Ah, uh, is he otherwise engaged? Aye, sleep enough a knife to the gut. <laughs> what? Blank. What happened? Will he live? What? Chirigen? Chirigens? The Chirigens tell me he will make a full recovery, but had Lord Edmund and Lord Aratoyle not been on hand when the assassin struck, he would not have been so fortunate. For a mercy, they subdued the fiend before he could land the, the telling blow. And by before, they mean when he ran away. Yeah, I was gonna say, didn't he just walk off? He like did a yeah. fly stab to the gut and was hoping he could just walk away from that. I wonder if Chirurgeon is some like horrifyingly outdated version of the word surgeon. Oh, The attack probably. was just the beginning though. Not long after, buildings all around the city, including several of ours, burst into flame. Bastard caught us completely by surprise. We've been doused in the fires, but for every one we put out, it seems that two more start up. Casualties are mountain, especially in the broom. Tis plain these fires were started by the assassins' conspirators. Until they have been rounded up, there will be no end to this. Will you help us find them? You lose it? And let us be about it. Yeah, he nodded. He didn't say anything, which is weird. Yeah. Meow, 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 meow. Talk to her again. Oh my god, another cutscene. Welcome to this game. The flames are spreading. We must needs begin our investigation immediately. Witnesses must be found. Suspects must be identified. Have you been able to determine the precise locations where the fires were set? Mayhap there's a pattern. If there is, we have yet to discern it. Fires have been reported throughout the city, in both the pillars and foundation. Indeed, given the size of the area affected, I think it is best to divide our forces. Master Alphanod, and Mistress Yustola, I would have you take charge of the investigation in Foundation. As you wish. And mayhap Tataru can be of assistance as well. Meaning Zav and me get the pillars. Oh, they'll be... They'll like me up there. Only question is, will the grizzled old rogues striking a pose over there be joining us? Thancred of the Signs of the Seventh Dawn. And may I say what a pleasure it is to finally meet with you, my lady. I'll bet the name's Hilda, a scion, huh? Ah. And there I was thinking I found a fellow ruffian amongst all these illustrious personages. Oh, there goes his chances. I Should've will remain here to coordinate the fire quelching effort. If you learn art of value, pray inform me immediately. 
That is all. Someone said she has some sort of great quest chain or something, so I was curious, but it looks like it's just the machinist quest chain. Oh. While we could begin by sifting through the charred rubble and questioning random passers-by, in my experience, every town has at least one individual who can be counted on to know things he or she should not. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, I, the infamous Lord Emmanuelin de, de Fortam, uh, lover of woman and wine, though neither, though neither care much for him. They say he could gossip for Ishgard. Just the sort of fellow I had in mind. Capital suggestions, Ev. Hero. Shit. He'll be at the Corgia, most like, making an effort to be seen. So let's go and see him. There's a guy just standing on a ladder over there. Grizzled, I will accept, but old. <sighs> well, your <laughs> hair white is hair, white. What do you expect? Yeah. Like, what? I like to think he's uh, he's having the Sigma thing, where he just doesn't actually know he's old. Like, sorry, Thancred, you're actually a time-traveled version of yourself who transplanted themselves <laughs> oh. into the you're, He's going to meet a younger version of himself later, and one of them will have to die. Yeah. Uh, let's see, where is the actual... Uh, Ethernet here? points. Jeweled Cruzier. Oops. I did that wrong. Look down on this man. <laughs> and have him look up at you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I didn't voice anyone in that building, so all these, all the nobles are Andrew. All right. I wonder if this is going to be another one of those instances where there's different uh, dialogue for you specifically. Because, Creepy you know, droid boys looking up at me too. <laughs> Honoroid. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh yeah, it, I forgot the droid. Wait, isn't that the? Oh, uh, hang yeah. on, no, isn't that the servant for this? Yeah, that's Not a servant. this guy. Yeah, yeah Honoroid. Honoroid. Uh, Honoroid. Yeah. What voice did I give this guy then? Uh, I know pompous and stuck up, I think. Was it pompous? I think this was the gravelly so. one. Oh, one yeah, them, no, this one is One of the, them was. Yeah, it's, it's the other one that has the pompous voice. This is the yeah. gravelly guy. That's the smoker voice? I think so. Well, well, if it isn't Hero, dearest of all my friends. You're looking rather glum. Something the matter, old girl? <laughs> bop, 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 bop. Ah, yes, the arsons. Dreadful business, that. And awfully curious, wouldn't you say? There doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to it at all. Naturally, we've doubled the guard outside the manor, along with most of the other houses. Can't have the old pile going up in flames, after all. In any case, you were wondering why the Hoplin is awash with refugees. The lower levels of the vault have been opened to those unfortunate souls who have lost their homes. Sir Emric orders, from what I hear. Remarkable man. Not even a knife in the ribs can keep him from his duties. That wasn't the ribs. <laughs> Actually, old girl, if you were thinking of questioning the refugees, I should be more than happy to accompany you to the Hoplin while you conduct your inquiries. If uh, I could, or while you conduct your inquiries, I could offer words of comfort to the distressed and despondent young maidens. Wait a moment, I know what that is. You're giving me one of the one of your looks, aren't you? You do me an injustice, old girl. I will have you know, my heart yearns for no one but Rose, prickly though she may be. Her butt one Rose. <laughs> I sense you remain unconvinced. Very well. If it will help you prove, if it will help to prove the purity of my intentions, I shall gracefully rescind my offer. Now run along and catch those arsonists. That was not entirely what I'd hoped for. Whose idea was it to come here again? Never mind. For our next step, I suggest we divide our efforts. 
While you question the refugees and Hoplin hero, I shall investigate the locations where the fires were set. Would you be so good as to join me, Hilda? You know what? I reckon I would. Can't have you roaming around in an unfamiliar city by your lonesome, can we? You'd only be robbed blind and left shivering in your small clothes. Back where you started. <laughs> I mean, maybe he's most comfortable that way. Poor okay. unfortunate souls. Off to the tribunal. <clears throat> See, which one did you go to? The tribunal. tribunal. There it is. Oh, I did not realize you could walk along this side of the uh, rail. All right. You're on the outside. We're on the outside. We're on the outside. Yeet. That just seems very unsafe considering how far of a fall it is. <laughs> There was a man with a satchel. I saw him kneeling outside the window, and then there was smoke everywhere, and it was so hot, and I couldn't breathe. I don't remember how it was made out. I suppose I must have climbed. Maybe an, my arm is getting better after all. Oh, I'm an orphan. Oh, somebody give me porridge. Anyway, bye forever. <laughs> this is a cutscene. All right, then. Sure. Well, he is a priest. I mean... <laughs> God, that face. Come, my brothers and sisters. There is food and shelter enough for all in the Basilica. Except for you, too. Helon's blessings be upon you, Father. I confess, we were not sure if we should come. There are so many unbelievable tales these days about the Archbishop and Sir Amric and the Trevanians. Trust in your heart, brother, and pay no heed to the lies of lesser men. They seek only to lead you astray. I do. Oh, I hate that word so much. <laughs> do you require succor as well, sir? I hate that word so much. Just why? Why is the English language so weird? So the Temple Knights have begun their investigation at last. Good. This madness has gone on far too long. Would that I could do something to aid you in your search. But I have a duty to these poor souls. A farewell, and may the Fury guide your steps. guy definitely seems like the type who would be, you know, like a TV <laughs> a televangelist. Uh, TV personality, yeah. There you go. Or TV evangelist. Hello, Speaking evangelist. in tongues and curing diseases amongst audi audience plants. Mm. Wait, you mean they don't actually cure diseases from random people that they found in the audience by touching their hand and yelling really loudly? Like, <laughs> and then having them collapse on the floor and wiggle around in agony as their whatever is healed? If that's, if that's true, then how do you explain how I was born? That's exactly what the doctor did when he gave me life. <laughs> wow, you cured my non-physical ailment that I was pretending to have. Let's see, Ours was one of the first homes to be claimed, but I didn't see how the fire began. Wow, very I was... manly woman. Look at this. Is it a woman? I can't tell yeah, from this distance. <laughs> Whatever. It was only when I heard our neighbors shouting that I looked outside and saw the flames. We barely escaped with the clothes on our backs. Were it not for the church's generosity, I don't know what we'd do. I wouldn't have any succor. <laughs> I, I'm, uh, I'm achieving minimal succor at best. <laughs> I hate that word. Why? Why do you I'm all hate I'm that not, word? It's the just weird. Succor. Uh, I, I, I think it's a long cut. Yeah. I, I think it's better. I think it's better than moist. Ow. Yep, I took the long way around. Succor makes me moist. <laughs> I guess you can combine it into to a worse sentence. Yeah. I don't remember the layout of Ishgard anymore. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I jumped down yeah. thinking, oh yeah, no, this will be quicker, and then you know, it's I not. Just, went straight in the direction the waypoint was pointing. 
I don't know how you can get it shorter than a straight line. It's whack. There's a lot of shin damage that, uh, over here. Oh, Just there you casually are. Casually breaking my legs. Anything to share? Hmm. We will require more than the muddled testimony of a traumatized girl if we are to identify the culprits. While you were questioning the refugees, we inspected the scenes of several of the fires, including one near St. Re Raymond. Ramanau, Ramano, Rimanu, Saint Ramanau's cathedral, and another near the tribunal. For a mercy, neither structure suffered significant damage. Some might say they were spared by the grace of the Fury. Others might question how such ruthlessly efficient arsonists contrived to fail so miserably on the two occasions where their target was a bastion of Iscardian orthodoxy. Kind of telling on themselves, aren't they? They're the ones doing it. Nothing conclusive, of course, but it does give one cause to wonder. Alphino will no, will doubtless have an, an opinion. Are they arsoning the city because their church attendance is down because everyone thinks that the Pope is evil now? Yes. That's, um... Probably. They're not very good at covering their tracks. <laughs> nope. Uh, yeah, that's kind of how the church always is. We need to go to the broom. They're cartoonishly evil. Okay. Cartoonishly evil comes with cartoonishly incompetency. Time to go to the broom so we can sweep up their bullshit. <laughs> oh, there there I gotta go. I found it. Crack him down. There he is. With Tataru, another character our voice is back. Great. <laughs> it's literally everyone. <laughs> ah. The whole gang's here. Silence will avail you not, sir. God, it's five characters that I voiced. <laughs> ah, Zev. I was just about to summon you. As you can see, we have detained a suspect. We found this man loitering near the remains of one of the stricken buildings. According to eyewitnesses, he was also present before the fires broke out. We wished to have words. He did not, so we insisted. Let hey. me go. Oh, oh, sorry, go for it. <laughs> Mm. No, hmm. Let me go, damn it! You've got the wrong man! My, but do you reek of oil? And are those burns on your hands? An occupational hazard, I suppose. But tell me, does arson pay well? I'm. F you imbecile! Look at me! Might need to lean back on those lines. Sorry. Aye, that you are, after a fashion. You should know that your pious patron has already spun a delightful yarn about how his pet mongrel slipped the leash and, let, and set it about burning half the city to the ground. Not very noble of him, I grant you, but then these highborn types rarely do show loyalty to their pets. In fact, he called you rabid and begged us to put you down. That Alex, he's the one who told me to keep going. Even a sinner such as me could find salvation in the Fury's work, he said. I'd left it behind, T tried to with all my heart. Said my prayers every day like a good man, but he came to me. He came to me. And there you have it, Hilda. Would you be so kind as to escort our friend here to the congregation? Aye, so long as you don't mind if he's limping when he gets there. It's gonna make it harder to carry him, but okay. That was incredible, Thancred. How did you know he would confess? Well, I've seen his like before. A troubled soul manipulated by men of power and wielded as a weapon. I could not be certain, of course, but given the stakes, I thought it'd be worth the risk. And if our captive had called your bluff? Must we entertain hypotheticals? The world is as vexing enough. Thank you, Thancred. Whether by luck or judgment, we have at, la at last confirmed that these arsons were orchestrated by a person or persons of influence. I think it best we now return to the congregation and discuss how best to proceed.
now back to Lucia. Who is somewhere. Forgotten Knight. Leaves the nearest teleport. Wee. Fermal Bert. That's a name. <laughs> what? That's the guard on the way in. His Jeez. name's Fermal Bert. His it's parents did not like him. Oh, on, on behalf of the Holy See of Ishgard, I thank you all. The man you apprehended is being interrogated as we speak. Though he fell silent upon realizing we had not turned, uh, turned his master, he will soon tell us what he knows, one way or another. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you. Oh, this guy. Pardon the intrusion, first commander. Ah, Lord Eratol, are you uh, are you come to see your father? He is attending Sir Emmerich in his chambers at present. I am. Um, he bid me uh, to bring his salve. Then do not let me detain you, and thank you for your kindness, my lord. In times of trouble, every man must do his part. Would that I could do more. Bow. Can we just, like, I don't know, hit him with a cure? Or something? <laughs> just a nice, just resum. Yep. My Lord Artoriel did not seem to be in his best of spirits. Tis little wonder, Master Alphanod. His father is widely slandered, and his half-brother not yet cold in the grave. Do 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 and click on this guy again. Just keep looping. I do not mean to diminish our accomplishments, but until we identify the ones who ordered the fire set, our work is far from finished. Between the various conservative and religious factions in Ishgard, I dare say there's no shortage of parties who would like to see the status quo preserved. Do any likely suspects spring to mind? Far too many to count. Lord Commander, your wounds... ...are healing well. Thank you. Time is of the essence. Lest we forget, these men would sooner put their own city to the torch than see it change. When our enemies learn that we have apprehended their arsonist, there is no telling how they will react. Lord Commander, an armed mob has seized control of the vault. And now we know. Tell us what happened, sir. Spare no detail. We were directing refugees into the Basilica, as you ordered. When all of a sudden, men brandishing weapons were all around us. It happened so fast, my lord. We had no time to respond. They've taken the refugees hostage and barricaded themselves inside the vault. And they sent you to deliver their demands. They, the true brothers of the faith, demand that a conclave to select the next archbishop be held forthwith. Furthermore, they... They declare that you, Lord Commander, are guilty of patricide and high treason, and that you must surrender yourself at once to receive of the Fury's judgment. Ridiculous! I mean, do they honestly think that executing Sir Emmerich would change anything? That the truth will somehow die with him? These fundamentalists rage against the passing of the old ways. Unable to accept there can be no going back. Given the fanciful nature of their demands, a peaceful resolution does not seem likely. If the hostages are to be rescued, it will be by force, I fear. 
Agreed. Lucia, take a contingent of knights and establish a perimeter outside the entrance. At once, Lord Commander. Hilda, I need your people out in force throughout the broom. When word spreads of the situation, the friends and family of the hostages may try to take matters into their own hands. I will not give these militants more targets. I shall lead the assault on the vault. Master Alphano, can I count on the support of the Scions? Of course. We are in your debt. I shall join you as well, Lord Commander. Your assistance is most welcome, Lord Atuarel. To arms then, friends. Time is against us. Story's getting interesting. Yep. Now they're taking hostages so that they can do a coup. Or really they're going to try to set up a theocracy or some shit. <laughs>